Hi Chris, uh, thank you very much for your kind inquiry and for sending the pictures of this space scooter which I think is uh, marvellously realised. I did work on that film about 35 years ago but many aspects of it look familiar to me. I'll talk about this in a minute. I'll work my way through your questions. You say, how many versions of the design did I do before deciding on this one? The background, Chris, is that Dino De Laurentiis himself called me when Flash Gordon was almost ready to go into production and asked me to come and see them at the studios because he wanted new versions of some of the designs which had already been done, which he obviously didn't like. And quite specifically, he asked me to redesign the space scooter. Now, you say, um, what was my inspiration for designing the geometry and what did I produce for the studio to enable them to construct it? If I remember rightly, I saw Dino De Laurentiis. He gave me a verbal brief. I was then taken down to the design studio or the department that was physically building the stuff and we decided, we discussed what this thing had to do in the film and I then went away and over a long holiday uh, produced the designs for it and I probably went back with the designs and I may then have gone back with further designs but I don't remember doing very specific um, plans, as you ask. Um, I, I think the designs were in the form of three-dimensional sketches, though it's possible I did do some designs uh, which showed the plan and the section and things like this. Um, and I probably liaised with the art director. And based on that, I really, really like your model. It's very detailed and I assume this is how it looked in the film. And to the best of my knowledge, it probably follows quite well what I drew, because I do remember they followed it very accurately. And I think, I think, Chris, this was the only machine I designed for a Flash Gordon, I think. So I hope that clarifies things a bit. Somewhere there must be some plans and maybe even some drawings that I did, so you can always try looking on the internet to see if they still exist. I don't know if they're still with the original film company, but I do like your model very much, and some of the details do look quite familiar to me. Which which aspects of the model do you like oh, the oh, most? These little cushion bellows here, the handlebars of course, and the deck he stands on, that was quite important, and probably the U-gripper which of course now is copied in, um, in water scooters. Just going on from this, I was asked, uh, did I ever see any of my designs in stuff that's been in modern machinery? And of course, I now realise this was designed long before the, the current water scooters. And of course, they follow this idea very closely. People on the big ones can stand up and have a hoop to retain them and they have handlebars. So yes, I mean, this now can be seen scooting around down at Saint-Tropez and places like that. So I obviously did quite a practical design. Chris, just to make sure we did this, how many versions of the design? I'm pretty certain that on the initial discussion, it was fairly clear what I should do. And, uh, and I suppose this is very interesting. Again, I'm going back to the water scooters, which it anticipates. I obviously designed the thing with a purpose. So you've got a deck, you've got the hoop that returns the guy. So I would have designed it as what would have been a completely functional thing in real life. And as I say, I would certainly have done colour sketches. I got dim memories of colour sketches. I got dim memories of drawing flash holding the handlebars and as I say it's possible I did working drawings but I'm not sure. I would have done more than one 
painting, I would have done a series of sketches which followed in sequence, and I don't think I did work on any other vehicle on Flash Gordon, though I might be wrong, because Chris, it is 35 years ago. Okay. I just saw it finished. The only thing I ever saw was the original design, which Dino De Laurentiis did not like. Right, mm. yeah, the original thing built. Yes. But you, when you saw it in the film, you liked it. You, I'm your, trying to remember. Your object. I haven't seen the film for more than 30 years. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but they do, they built it just as you... I seem to remember, yeah. sir. I seem to remember yeah. being thrilled that they'd followed the design so closely. As I say, I would have done several sketches. And I, I, I seem to remember I was left to do it my way and they were quite happy to take whatever I did. That's my memory. And I would have designed the cycle because almost certainly they told me he had to stand up and he had to have handlebars. So logic then dictated the rest of the design. So I do it as a working design. And what did I produce for the studio to construct it? I might have done uh, working drawings. I might have done. How because long... I, I often did. For various films, I often did working drawings. And what would a working drawing be? It would be a proper plan view with sections. Um, the plan of it, so, um, fully detailed cross sections, dimensions, everything, you know, yeah. as if it was a real life aircraft, for example. And how long would that have taken you to do, do you think? I think it was done very quickly. I seem to remember it was done over a two month period. Right, but working on it sort of every day or? No, it was because the brief was very clear, the requirement was very So I, I think not working a huge amount of time. Mm, so you, maybe a week in, in total? Yes, yes, probably. Mm. A week spread over two weeks. And no more than three visits to the studio, as I remember it. Mm. Yeah. Did, did you enjoy going to the studio? Well, I don't know how well you remember it, but while Dino De Laurentiis was briefing me, you were shown around the studios by one of the executives. But did you enjoy the studio? Yes, of course. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. There.